When looking back, I found my days lay tangled in untidy heaps, like unassorted clothes, just washed but with the colours run, as when there's one thing which turns everything to pinks or blues, my Wednesdays, Thurs and Fries look just the same as all my chews, a slush in retrospect, perhaps a glimmer here and there, but all the rest, unfeatured, unremarked, an epidemic of unending undays. So on the first day of the year, upon a shore, I found a stone, and threw it in the sea, and told myself that each day I would take one picture in my head and keep it polished, so that they'd all shine bright as markers in the fog between my nights. And now you ask, what did I do this first month of the year? Well, I suppose I would have said that mostly, I recall, I slept and ached and pined and worried, tried to remember and fretfully attempted to forget. But then I stumble on my picture treasure chest. It starts one winter noon, the Adriatic green, a thickly newly poured and frozen paint. Above the line the sky starts from three clouds identical in shape like corn-cob pipes, in size one large, one in between, one small. Below, almost about to disappear a ship and flying out to it, swaying inside a quaking carpet of unrolling wind, a train of birds. Next come some rusty pears and apples inside a wooden bowl. A Rothko painting, only red on black, the paint which somehow moves from place to place. A calendar, which read December 39th. A dog obstructing flow, stranded in halfway street between two billowing smells. The travelling sky at dawn, outside my window, only minutes from my bed and sleep. A girl upon a bridge, shaking her worries from her head into a spray of auburn hair, a photograph from 1938, ten gazes, none the same, intense enough combined to keep the future hovering still an inch beyond the frame. And then, my newest friend, a demoiselle of ten, aglow with smile as she ran up to say her first hello, a downside up bird in a tree, a waterfall, I stared at long enough my mind just turned to drops, a greeting which was honey for my soul. A Dayak hornbill carving, like a shriek of wood. A seagull landing on a car just next to me to wait together for the fishmonger to start his day. The dance and song of rain upon the roof tiles over which I swung my feet. And last of all, a boy from Africa, spinning a pirouette so sudden and so bold it stunned a room and made us catch our breath like when you accidentally realize you've seen a month of minor miracles.